turned on the TV and he was Peter Beatty, Premier Peter Beatty, flying in a helicopter and saying, well, announcing that this was the proposed site for a Traveston Crossing Dam and it was over my property. It was a shock. When Peter Beatty flew in on his helicopter and uh, he took the mayor with him on his helicopter, they flew over the Gympie and it was all unannounced at first. They made the announcement later and it took everyone by surprise, this whole question of putting a dam in the Mary Valley. And it was kind of uh, a little bit um, a, a dodgy way to do things in those days. A decision was made that we would form a committee and a group and, and fight this thing. Well, we just made sure we got all our facts right with the technical advisors and the technical people that worked on uh, producing all the things we needed to know. To share the facts and the data that we saw as critical to prove that this was a flawed proposal. Okay, we were some of the early uh, environmentalists. severe troubles and you only actually have to cause a major catastrophic environmental event once and then that population might not come back with some of these species that we're looking at. So we're looking at causing major tragedies. number of when there'd be a, a very public protest was the number of people who particularly elderly and particularly ladies who said this is the first time they've ever protested against anything and and I think it's 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 a measure of the character of people that they um, will actually I don't know put their feet where their heart is I guess and, and actually stand up for something like this it was, it was wonderful to see Garrett got up to speak, deadly, absolutely deadly hush. Then he said, and the party started. I went straight out. I mean, there were there were there were grown men, big farmers, crying and kissing each other. They don't kiss each other around Kendanga. It's because people are human and they make mistakes, and especially the people in power, they seem to make a lot of mistakes. The experience of going through the three and a half years fighting the, the dam proposal, you know, how it affected people emotionally and the unhappiness and the sadness, to have the announcement of no dam and to have people, so many smiles on people's faces, it really brings home that a happy, healthy community is something that you want to be part of, you want to have. but, but value-wise of your, of your surroundings and the people that you interact with. 
um, a, you know, really vibrant, creative people that are, have a vision of where they're going to and they want to be, be on the journey. Um, yeah, so I can come back with my kids say so planted those trees along there and help save Mary. hundreds of thousands and thousands of people involved with this campaign to save Mary. And I believe it was the collective energy of everyone combined. Every little thing, from all the really big things to every little thing that went out right around this country and around the world. And they'd all combined. It's like that collective unconscious. And we shifted something and we changed it. Now we've got to hang in there so that the environmental value of the Mary Valley continues to be appreciated forever. And you try and put the brown bits of the brown and the green bits of the air.